To start in the middle of the line, I take my hand and I twist the rope away from me. This forms a loop. Doing it the exact same way a second time forms a second loop. The second loop goes on top of the first loop. You'll notice that both of the ends are in the middle. The hitch is then placed over your object and can be tightened. To tie from the end, you bring the line all the way around the object below your working end. The loose end then goes above your working end around the object once more. The loose end is then passed underneath the overlapping line. A proper clove hitch will have no binding, no jamming, and everything will be parallel to each other.